Hi, this is Brian Hurley from Business Performance Improvement. I wanted to talk to you about one of the popular templates we have on our site, SQDC, and how that works. So I want to run through an example because I get a lot of questions about this. We've got a couple different letters that we've lined up on our board. This would be a board you have in your process area as a way to track what's going on day to day. And the, the cool thing about this tool is that it breaks down into very simple colors. Green, everything's going good. Red, things are in trouble or we didn't meet our goals for the day. So let's look at a couple examples. Let's start with the first one, safety. Looks like a plus sign and we've got 31 different numbers in here representing each day of the month. The next one we have is quality and we have delivery, cost or customer and environment. We also have some other templates for productivity and inventory and if you have other letters that you want, just let us know and we can create a template for you. So for each day, we need certain criteria. And to be, get a green for that day, for safety, we would need to have no missed days and no injuries. To get a green for quality, we would have five or less defects and 95% process yield or greater for that day. For delivery, we want to have 100% on-time delivery to customer or full Kanban replenishment at the end of the day. We need to meet both to accomplish their green. For cost or customer, depending on how you label it, it's no customer escapes and no defects found at our final check. And for environment, we might add something like all equipment needs to be shut down at the end of the day and no recyclables in the trash bin. So for the first day of the month, we can go through and at the end of the day, we determine do we have any missed days where people are out because of an injury? And if not, and we didn't have any injuries today, then we can put a green in here. So we'll take number one, and just simply fill it in with green. Next one, we go to quality and say, how did we do today? Well, today we had seven defects. That does not meet our goal. So we're gonna make that a red. For number three, delivery. We look at our criteria. It looks like maybe we had one missed that day. So again, we would put a red in number one. This would be the first day of the month. For cost or customer, do we have any escapes and do we have any defects at final check? If the answer is no, then we can put a green. And for environment, do we shut off all the equipment at the end of the day? And do we have any recyclables in the trash bin? If, if those two were both good, then we could put a, red, a green in here. Okay, so the nice thing is, at a, at a glance, you can see how things are doing for the first day. So it looks like we hit our goals for these three days, or three, these three categories, and we missed it for these two. Now I'm going to fill in a couple of these and come back and let's look at what it looks like as we progress through the month. Okay, we're back. I filled in seven days of work and filled it out for each of the different assessments. So the first one we looked at was safety. It looks like we have all greens except for one day, the fifth day, that was red. On the fifth day, we might have a little discussion about what happened, make sure we have a plan and look into that, get to root cause, and then move on. But overall, I feel pretty good about safety. In quality, you can see there's a lot of red on here. So we want to be spending more time in quality and really getting into the heart of those issues. Why didn't we meet the criteria? What's going on? Who's working it? Where are we at? That type of thing. On delivery, we can see that we started off with red, but we end up making up and hitting green the rest of the way. So we have six straight days of green. If this continues and you see a lot of success and a lot of greens, maybe the criteria is too easy. We need to uh, continuously improve and, and make it a little bit more tougher for the team. But so far, I, I feel pretty good about delivery and move forward. To go to the cost or the customer perspective, we have the customer escaped and, and the defects. We have a, a smattering of red and green on here. So we might spend a little bit of time on those days and the other days kind of pass through that if it's green and not get into a lot of details. But um, mixed, mixed reviews with the cost or customers uh, piece of this. And the environment, we started off really well, got four straight days of green, and then the last three days have been red. And so now we're picking up kind of a, a trend and, and maybe we need to go back and say, what's going on? And we're, we're seeing a pattern. It wasn't just one day that went wrong. We're actually picking up something, some issue there. 
So let's, let's spend a little bit of time talking about it, what's going on, so we can get back into the green. So that's the intent with this tool, is at a glance you can look back at this and quickly pick out areas that are going well, or we're struggling a little bit, or we're picking up a, a trend in recent activity that should be some of our focus area. And so that's the nice thing about this template. And you can download that from our website for only $20.